The next-generation Russian Storm aircraft carrier, currently under development by the Krylovsky State Research Center, promises to be a game-changer in global naval power. This nuclear-powered warship aims to rival the U.S. Navy's Nimitz-class carriers, which have long been a symbol of Western maritime dominance. With its advanced features and strategic focus, the storm positions Russia to expand its influence across distant regions, particularly the Arctic. The storm boasts a projected full displacement of 95,000 tons, aligning it with the U.S. Nimitz-class, which displaces between 90,000 and 100,000 tons. Measuring approximately 330 meters, 1,083 feet in length, the storm matches the dimensions of its American counterpart, enabling it to house an impressive air wing. While the Nimitz-class accommodates up to 90 aircraft, the storm offers a slight edge, supporting up to 100, including MiG-29K fighters, Su-57 stealth jets, and Cobb-27 helicopters. Both carriers leverage nuclear propulsion systems to achieve extensive operational ranges. The storm will utilize RITM-200 or RITM-400 reactors, while the Nimitz-class relies on four nuclear reactors. Both designs achieve top speeds of 30 knots, 56 kilometers per hour. However, the storm incorporates a hull design with a 20% reduction in water resistance, potentially enhancing maneuverability and fuel efficiency. Its hybrid system combining nuclear and gas turbines further highlights its innovative engineering. The storm is expected to include two runways, allowing continuous aircraft operations, while the Nimitz class features four launch positions using ski jump ramps and electromagnetic catapults. Both carriers will use advanced arresting systems for landings, ensuring compatibility with diverse aircraft. This adaptability underscores the storm's potential to rival the operational versatility of its American counterpart. The storm will integrate cutting-edge S-500 air defense systems, capable of neutralizing ballistic and supersonic threats, alongside cruise missiles and anti-aircraft artillery. In contrast, the Nimitz class employs unspecified anti-aircraft systems, potentially integrating the S-400 or similar technologies. Both carriers feature sophisticated radar for navigation and defense, with the Nimitz class notably equipped with phased array systems. A standout feature of the storm is its ice-class hull, enabling Arctic operations and giving Russia a distinct advantage in securing its interests in this strategically vital region. The Nimitz class lacks such an ice-strengthened design, limiting its flexibility in polar waters. Both carriers are designed for service lives of approximately 50 years, reflecting their durability and strategic importance. The storm boasts an impressive autonomy, operating for up to 120 days at sea without refueling, similar to the Nimitz class. The development of the storm underscores Russia's commitment to expanding its Blue Water Navy and challenging U.S. naval supremacy. Its combination of size, advanced capabilities, and Arctic focus positions it as a formidable rival in the aircraft carrier domain. If realized as envisioned, the storm will not only bolster Russia's global reach but also reshape the strategic balance on the world's oceans. As the storm progresses from concept to reality, its potential to rival and even surpass the U.S. Nimitz-class signals a new era in naval competition, with implications for global military and geopolitical dynamics.